Good evening and welcome to another video on All How the Ale. Tonight we're going back to Northern Monk and the Patrons Project and the beer in question is this one. It is Patrons Project 1302 and it is a double dry hopped IPA weighing in at 7.4% uh, and it says it contains Mosaic, Amarillo, Simcoe and Cascade hops. So we know we're in for a, uh, a bit of a tasty beer. And as always with every Patrons Project can, you have a little peel here indicator. But we'll come to that after. Just look at the fantastic artwork. You've got that wonderful face. The, the, the kind of kind of Avatar-esque artwork going on, albeit green as opposed to blue. And uh, let's see what it says underneath, shall we? Joys of having no fingernails, can't get underneath it. Get in there. I can't get in. It's like being a kid trying to uh, get get into a toy box that you just don't know how to get into. Anyway, here we are. And it says here. Yeah, a little bit of information about the artist. Tank Petrol was born in Poland in 82. Uh, today's based in Manchester. Hey, same age as me. Well, near as damn it, 82. But, uh, currently based in Manchester. Originally came from the graffiti scene. Today is known for stencil art, although he uses different techniques ranging from stencil, typography, and traditional painting to freehand murals and fine work. So, yeah, there we are. That is that. And here's some notes from the brewer. It says, for this series we're continuing the theme exploring the world of double dry hopped IPAs and after the incredible feedback we received from Infinity Vortex, which I missed out on, we knew we had big boots to fill. This is another big double dry hopped IPA, just our tank likes them. We've used a classic wheat and oat loaded soft New England style base to ensure a rounded mouthfeel which we then whirlpool hopped with Mosaic and Simcoe for a piney resinous backbone. Love the sound of this so far. We fermented the beer with WLP008 East Coast Yeast, which is actually a new experiment for us. We selected this yeast due to its ability to emit loads of ci juicy citrus esters while leaving a nice residual sweetness. And the 24 grams per litre dry hop featured yet more Mosaic and Simcoe, backed by the orange citrus floral notes of US Classics Amarillo and Cascade. And that really does sound like it's going to be amazing. And I hope it is, because I've got a couple more of these downstairs in the fridge. So let's uh, crack it and pour. So we have pale. Not as hazy as I was expecting. There we go. It's a bit of a uh, bit of a terrible pour from me. Um, got a fair bit of head going on, and it's heavily carbonated. We've got a lot of action going on coming up from the bottom of the glass. It smells piney. Oh, oh, it smells good. I'm going to dive in. Get past the head. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes and yes. And yes again. <laughs> That's sweet. It's juicy. It's, as I say, it's got a well-rounded mouthfeel. It's not dry. It's, it's very, very, very nice. Incredibly nice. So, Let's top it off with what was left. Now, let's have a little bit more. It's light on the citrus. I get what they mean by the floral. All I know is it's very, very, very nice indeed. I wish it was a little bit more bitter. So I, I, I love that real 
punch you in the face bitterness that you get from some hops and whilst this is incredibly lovely I think it would benefit from a touch of bitterness but I get that everyone brews things differently and they just brew something different I'm not going to knock it though I like it a lot indeed I'm getting that sweet orange mm. that is a bloody lovely beer Orange is a dominant flavour from the citrus notes. I'm not getting any dankness that I would normally get from mosaic, none of that at all. And uh, But yeah, I'm getting everything I expected from this beer. Very nice indeed. Mm. I'm glad I bought more. Very glad indeed. Now, what did I pay for it? Well, I paid £6.15 for a 440ml can and on the evidence of those few sips, it's worth every single penny, um, as is just about everything that I've tried from Northern Monk. And uh, it brings me to the matter of a score. Well, would I buy it again? Of course I would. That's, what silly question is that? Um, absolutely. I love the flavours. I love the mouthfeel. I love that the artwork is just phenomenal. I mean, I know you don't drink the artwork, but it is part of the package when you're buying it. You look at it and you think, that stands out on the shelf, or from the fridge in this case, from Otter's Tears. And if it stands out, it makes you interested, it makes me want to find out more and buy it. I mean, and then I saw it was Northern Monk, so, and it was just instantly throw a few of those onto the counter, Phil. Thank you very much. But yeah, it drew me to it. If it had boring artwork, you probably wouldn't be looking at it. And I think artwork is such an important part of the package, and they've really nailed it here. Um, yeah, quality. The flavours are phenomenally sweet and tasty. Like I say, I wish it had a bit of bitterness, maybe a bit more hop presence. Um, a little bit more hop forward, and it'd be really, really good. But that's not to take away from it. It's incredible as it is, and. I would be rude to offer it anything less than four and a half. Like I say, if it had a bit more bitterness and a touch more hot presence, it would be top marks all round. But just a little bit off for the lack of bitterness and uh, just that missing hot presence that I personally love. Um, I get that this was brewed with a particular flavour in mind and I dare say they've nailed it to their spec. So, ladies and gents, boys and girls, this has been the Northern Monks Patrons Project 1302. I've been Nick and I'll see you again soon. Bye.